On the 1st of January 2021, Fearless would upload this video to the YouTube platform under the name Minecraft Oof, then subsequently disappear from all social media. Were there any clues, sound bites, or private posts by Fearless hinting at the reasoning behind his disappearance? Was Fearless burnt out, depressed, or mourning the loss of a loved one? Why was his final video unrelated to Fortnite? With the help of some awesome viewers who have sent me a couple of recent sources relating to his whereabouts, we can get a pretty good idea of where Fearless is at. We've got a five minute video from less than two months ago posted by someone who was able to question Fearless after being paired with him in a random duo. We've discovered a few cool secret messages put in the video description by Fearless possibly hinting at his location. And crazily enough, a Reddit asked me anything posted by the apparent real Fearless only 17 days ago, explicitly stating why he's disappeared from the platform. These will be explored throughout the video, but there's something that we need to first discuss in order to understand his disappearance, being that an incredibly inconsistent upload schedule is almost a part of his style. It's permeated his videos dating all the way back to the Call of Duty days when he would post Black Ops 3 sniper and funny moments montages. Leading up to this point, it had taken him almost four years to establish his reputation as someone who doesn't upload very often. But it all began with this video, Kicked From Phase. Seeing a player who was funny or a troll was common, and seeing a player who was extremely skilled was common as well. But seeing these two elements mixed into one was slightly rarer. You just said I wasn't in Phase, now I'm kicked. I guess I'm kicked from Phase. Damn, dude. So no more Phase for Alicia? It's, it's over, dude. For this reason, and Fearless began to build his reputation as a skilled yet relaxed Call of Duty troll who had a unique editing style for the time being mid-2017. Should I revive him? Help me, help me, please. <laughs> He's saying help me. I'm not gonna help you. <laughs> Come on, push the button, the blue button. <laughs> you don't understand this game? Oh my god. There was a clear passion and conviction held by Fearless in the early Call of Duty content, as if he'd been digging deeper and deeper into a style that few had ventured into before. He was finding something new for each and every video. He was clearly introverted and quite standoffish, but there was a clear enjoyment and desire for every new montage which ultimately passed on to the audience. After only seven of these hilarious montages, Fearless was at 300,000 subscribers. But relating back to the previous point, even in the very beginning when he first blew up, there was still often full one month breaks between uploads. The thing was, the view counts were still insane despite his awful upload schedule, which inevitably showed Fearless that his viewership wasn't really tied to how often he uploaded. After the release of Fortnite Battle Royale, Fearless would migrate his unique editing and commentary style over to the game in his first Fortnite video titled, Insane Sniper Shots, Fortnite Battle Royale, Funny and Epic Moments. I've been having a lot of fun on this game recently. I've been playing it a lot, just haven't made any videos on it, but a lot of people asked me to make a video on it, so I did. I might make a few more, I don't know. This game was kind of similar to Call of Duty from a content perspective. Only there were more noobs making for excellent trolling content, while duos and squads assisted with various creative ideas. You got this, you got this, kill him! Finding noobs or unusual players in both duos and squads was what Fearless would become known for. Bullying default skins in Fortnite, getting a noob his first win on Fortnite, funny voice chat moments, and owing to these, Fearless's subscriber count would surge. He would rocket past two, four, six million subscribers, upload a video titled Chapter 2 Oof, then out of the blue, completely disappear, beginning what would become a string of unexplained mysterious events in the life of Fearless. Months went past without a word from the creator, and naturally fans began to worry about what had happened to him. When are you going to post a YouTube? vid. Bro, when's the next vid? Hey bro, when are you gonna post? Fans began to scour his final upload with the goal of figuring out the motive behind his silent exit. The video had been titled Chapter 2 Oof, but it had been uploaded over four months after Chapter 2's release. Perhaps Fearless had been included amongst those creators who weren't really enjoying Chapter 2. It took him ages to release the video, then he concluded that the game wasn't enjoyable enough to make a second video on the chapter. This would be supported to some extent when Fearless would randomly do a live stream titled Um Hi after four months of complete silence. Throughout this live stream, he would mention that he hadn't really been playing Fortnite. So yeah, I haven't played much but we're playing right now. Which would support a lack of enjoyment for the game. However, this didn't seem to be the primary reason for his lack of uploads, as later in the live stream, Fearless would give somewhat of an exact explanation as to why he hadn't posted a video. You wanna, you wanna talk about it? Let's talk about it. All right, YouTube. I, I don't wanna get into it, why I haven't been uploading stuff, but um, it's personal. I mean, a little bit, and then more, another thing is I just like, it doesn't matter. What matters is I'm gonna upload soon. Fearless would end the stream by stating, and I'm gonna just go hard and upload, hopefully this year. 
<laughs> which many interpreted to be a joke considering it was only June and there was another six months before the end of the year. However, Fearless wasn't kidding. It'd be another six months of silence before he would take to TikTok, posting a video with the caption, was supposed to be in the new vid, but nah, too sus. Fearless was back and had also announced that a new Fortnite video was on the way. Bro, I have my next video done, I'm just scared AF to upload. Fans naturally began to joke about how long he'd been away for, with one stating, so when's your next vacation? Which prompted a reply from Fearless stating, vacation, lol. lol. I wish this was a vacation. If only you knew my life, bro bro. Once again reinforcing that his disappearance might have been a little more serious than everyone initially thought as laid out in the live stream. Viewers from the live stream would also comment on how Fearless seemed somewhat depressed. He sounds sad like something's wrong and he's gonna cry. He's not the same. Please come back for real Fearless. We miss you. He sounds depressed, that's why he don't upload. I think he got some stuff going on in his life so let him take the time. The legend will be back soon. We love you Fear. It sounds like he's going through depression. Fearless would never comment on this but regardless. On the 6th of December 2020, the video teased on TikTok would come out on YouTube under the title Aimbot 3.0, a full 12 months after his prior upload. Strangely, the video had been filmed in Chapter 2 Season 3, which ran from June to August of that year, meaning that the footage had been filmed at least four months before the video went live. If he filmed that video in Chapter 2 Season 3, why did he post it four months, at least four months after that season? It's kind of weird. But whatever, he was back in action. The Fortnite community universally rejoiced and the video would gain over 30 million views from hyped up fans. A month later, Fearless would switch things up a little bit and upload a video titled Minecraft Oof after teasing it with a photo on his Instagram story. Spotting a trend with two videos in two months, fans assumed that Fearless would be back to his usual upload schedule. However, this wouldn't be the case. The Minecraft Oof video still remains as his most recent upload approximately eight months later. There was something sad about this final video. It felt like the the passion Fearless had at the beginning of his video making journey had fallen out of the content to some extent. It was almost like he was uploading Minecraft because everyone else was doing it, he was no longer enjoying Fortnite and he felt as though he needed to in order to maintain his upload schedule. You can always kind of sense when someone isn't actually enjoying the videos they're making. There's an unexplainable forced vibe behind the video that you can't see, but you can definitely feel it. Perhaps this was also supported by the fact that Fearless had taken a full 12 months off making videos beforehand, and at the end of the day, no one who actually enjoys making the videos is going to take 12 months off. This also relates back to the point of no longer enjoying chapter 2, because if he decided to make a switch to Minecraft, what does that say about his previous love for Fortnite? Cypher PK had an alternate but very interesting take on the whole situation, being that the item pool was somewhat to blame for his disappearance. A lot of the content that some of these YouTubers and streamers focused on or made kind of revolved around some of the crazier, out of the ordinary items like the impulse nades, the shockwave nades, the uh, flintlock pistol, the balloons, the bush, the bush that you can put on. Additionally, he also mentioned that a creator like Fearless relies on newer players as well as fairly oblivious individuals from duo and squad fills in order to make good content. A lot of the content that CD and Fearless make involves them playing with newbie players or new players or even running into like new players. You don't really run into defaults like that anymore. You don't really experience that level of like randomness in your in your gameplay where you can run into somebody who has never won a game. And I mean, this makes sense. As we mentioned in the beginning, the reasoning behind Fearless's initial blow up was because he was able to leverage hilarious new player scenarios in order to gain huge view counts. Some players who managed to get into a squad fill with Fearless during his first hiatus would record him saying, I didn't quit, I just, I haven't been getting any good footage for a video. Oh, really? Like footage I'm actually happy with, yeah. Which once again makes sense, as if there's less noobs and no new items, there's simply going to be a lower probability of encountering these situations. I'm trying to think, when was the last time I saw a genuine default? I don't think I've seen one for over a year. They don't exist anymore. I, I want to be able to find them, but they are the rarest creatures known to mankind. Their population is, is extinct. They were killed off by the tryhard gang centuries ago. This segues perfectly into the first piece of actual rock solid evidence regarding where Fearless went and where he's up to in his content creation journey. On the 12th of June 2021, a user by the name of STR Snowball posted a five minute long video titled I Met Fearless. You gonna upload? Um, probably. Let's go. In this video, Snowball had paired with Fearless in a random duo. However, the video would end when the two were killed by some other skilled players. Oh. <laughs> well, GG. nice playing with you. YouTuber, good luck on your YouTube channel, your videos. Thanks. 
Sick air. This is fairly basic evidence for the previous claim being that it'd be difficult for Fearless to get clips given the massive increase in the average skill level. But nevertheless, it still shows that Fearless is likely stacking up clips for his next video, as there isn't any other reason for why he might be playing random duos. To support this, Snowball would pin a comment stating, he did say that he was going to try and upload a C2S7 oof video, but with only a few weeks left in Season 7, the probability of this is becoming less and less likely. In addition to this video, a strange code has been spotted in the description of Fearless's most recent Fortnite upload. Confused by the code, users would search it on Instagram to be met with an account stating, so you've searched it. Perhaps this was an attempt to stir up some mystery around his disappearance, but it never really gained any traction. Nobody talked about it on Reddit. If you Google the code, barely anything comes up. So maybe it just didn't end up doing what Fearless wanted and the idea was ultimately abandoned. However, both of these events pale in comparison to the most promising yet equally controversial piece of evidence regarding Fearless's current location. And that's a three week old Reddit AMA with 600 upvotes posted by a user called Graph Fearless, which stated, I am a YouTube with 9 million subscribers, ask me anything. In this post, the apparent real Fearless would answer numerous questions relating to why he had stopped uploading. Will you start doing YouTube again? Not for the foreseeable future. I have a bunch of personal problems which make it hard for me to make content. Was there a special moment that made you take a break? I had a panic attack after posting a video that made me seek therapy. What's your biggest regret YouTube related? I invested myself too much emotionally into YouTube and I felt an unending pressure to upload, even when my mental health was not up to it. I've sought therapy for this. Now, there were some elements to this AMA which presented it as a genuine post by the real Fearless, such as the Reddit name and the fact that the user didn't include their YouTube channel name in the AMA description. However, when looking a little deeper into the user who made the post, the credibility of Graph Fearless is questionable at best. Users began to request that he provide some evidence proving that he was in fact the real Fearless, to which he would respond, my background is a picture of my Epic Games login. This was correct, although the picture was incredibly low res and could have easily been screenshotted at some point in a Fearless video. After being told that his banner wasn't enough to be believed, the apparent real Fearless would post an image of my Instagram login for proof, which displayed a screenshot of his Instagram account logged in from Fearless's end. Now, this again wasn't very good evidence, as photoshopping something like this is so easy that I've done up an identical one just to prove that anyone could do this. People then told him to post the image without the crop, which is where the credibility of this guy really fell off a cliff. He began to argue with everyone on the post trying to convince them that he was the real Fearless, literally going into full-blown paragraph arguments attempting to display his apparent credibility. Now firstly, if this was the real Fearless, he wouldn't even need to argue with these people. He could have just provided some better evidence and that would have been the end of it. Plus, the only reason why you'd go to this much effort to try and prove you're right is if you're wrong. Fearless is not the kind of guy who's going to sit on Reddit all day trying to argue and convince one person that he's the real Fearless when he has 9 million subscribers on YouTube waiting for him to post a video. In addition to this, if we compare how Fearless speaks on TikTok to the way this guy speaks on the post, the grammar pattern is completely inconsistent. The real Fearless responded to comments with a very casual, relaxed lowercase, nah, that's Hamlin's, I miss him bro, while the Reddit Fearless would respond with a much more formal and serious, no, I don't want a trillion people asking me the same few questions, I wanted to talk to people who haven't seen me before, using uppercase letters which seems out of character compared to the first screenshot, as if he's trying to talk like a famous person without having experienced fame himself. Additionally, the account responded to so many questions that once again just seem out of character for Fearless, egotistically stating, my natural sense of humor drew more viewers. Also stating, people treated me the same after I got famous, and I can't find bad comments even if I try. All of which being statements that no YouTube would ever say about themselves because they're simply not true. The account was made literally four days before the AMA was posted. Whoever made this AMA is clearly just taking advantage of the fact that Fearless doesn't use any social media and knows that the real Fearless would never call the guy out on it. As much as I'd like to believe that this AMA was posted by the real Fearless, I think it's pretty safe to say that it's completely fake. So if that is fake, then what's the truth? What happened to Fearless? The passion fell out of the process. I think that's somewhat obvious. Getting clips is no longer simple and hassle free. He takes four to six months to edit a video after he's filmed it when it used to only take him one month. Alternatively, his obvious lack of motivation could also be attributed to depression as outlined in other theories, or perhaps his introverted nature removes the desire to put himself back out into the online world. One thing that I didn't mention in the other disappearance videos on C-Day, Daquan and Hamlin's is that these creators clearly also feed into their own disappearances and avoid returning to content creation as they like to have their story discussed, which keeps them arguably more relevant than if they were uploading. Take Hamlin's for example. If he continued to make videos on Fortnite or another game, he'd probably have a similar fate to say Myth, who's fairly washed up these days getting less than 50,000 views per video on a channel with over 4.6 million subscribers. The mysteriousness surrounding Hamlin's disappearance ensures that people continue to talk about him while he puts in absolutely no effort. Seems like a double positive almost. Fearless is slightly different, given he would still get massive views upon returning, but 
but it'd be naive to say that he doesn't enjoy the significance of people always discussing his lack of uploads. Fearless's current location and disappearance motive is one only known by the man himself, but hopefully after this video, we're at least a little bit closer to the truth.